If you ask those who know Betty Vincent the best, they'll tell you she's a very hard worker and dedicated to her job. She started working at age eight, and as an adult, she worked at GCAC for 50 years, retiring in 2018 at age 81. So I observed her for a number of years, just watching that kind of quiet dignity that she had. She was committed to making it to that milestone uh, of having, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Betty had 50 years in here, all right? Um, that's a heck of a milestone to go for. When she retired, or was about to retire with the JCAG dinner, um, and they presented a video and us, we were in tears. It was, it was wonderful because she did so much for JCAC and the community. Um, so that was, it was very emotional. I've learned her methodologies and uh, recognized that she's a very uh, analytical person, a very professional person, a person who is results oriented and she's tough. But she also took care of business. She was, again, no nonsensical. Um, she often tells a story about how she had one of her sons working here at the agency and he wasn't doing his job, so she fired him. And even when that love was tough love, B, as she's known, proved that she was also very dedicated to her family. She's the mother of five children, two stepchildren, and now a great-grandmother to 17 great-grandchildren. Well, I think being a parent is a career. <laughs> I, I think raising five children, uh, especially four boys, and kept them out of jail, out of the um, prison system. Now they're old men. <laughs> so that's, that was a rewarding, ex rewarding experience for me. I think probably some of my best memories were um, when we used to go on vacations. She used to get all the kids piled up in, in the vehicle and take us to Cedar Point. Yeah, really fun. Um, and then she would drive us all the way back late at night and get up early in the morning and go to work. Bee's work reaches into the Erie community, serving with dozens of nonprofit and volunteer organizations throughout her life, including Human Resource Management of Northwestern Pennsylvania, the NAACP, and the United Way. I just do what I can do. I share what knowledge I have. I help wherever I can. Um, you know, I help anybody that I can, whenever I can. And that's, that's me, that was the way I was raised. Touching the lives of Erie's youth has also led B to become what some call the community's grandmother. She also seemed to be one of those neighborhood grandmothers that everybody in the neighborhood liked. Um, she had the, the, the sons and daughters around that. Um, again, carrying that respect in the neighborhood, that, that's Miss Vincent. Betty Vinson is, is the mother of not only her biological family, but she is a mother to so many of us, an innumerable number of people here in the city of Erie. Her home is the community home, and you can drop by, and, and her hospitality is legendary. A lifetime of work and service impacting Erie for generations. Betty, congratulations on winning this award very well deserved for a very lovely lady who has put in a lot of time, energy, perseverance, and dedication to the community, the family, and to GCAC. And I truly appreciate all you've done for the community. And again, congratulations on winning this award. Betty, I want to thank you for uh, your demonstration of love, your demonstration of compassion, um, for you mentoring me, teaching me, training me, correcting me when I was wrong, but hanging in there with me across these years. Um, you are one of the people that God used to develop me and to make me into the leader that I am today. And I humbly uh, thank you for that. Love you very much, and we'll see you soon. Probably that my mom is my greatest hero. I am so proud of all of her accomplishments. I strive to be just like her. Um, and I am so proud of everything that she has done, and I just love her.